Hi everyone and welcome to Level Up Live. I'm Gina, one of your coaches, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about motivation. And when I'm talking about motivation, I mean the kind that is sort of elusive that you need when you're close to a deadline, you're really sick of your project, or you're just slogging in some way. So when you when when we are excited about our work and we're ready to go, um, motivation is really easy to find, right? But when you just can't get excited about something, nothing gets you really, really ready to go and, and write, what do you do? How do you create your own motivation? Um, first, I want to think about what you're already doing. So do you know what motivates you? Take a minute to think about this because the key is recognizing and using our own internal motivations because we often want to think that what we're doing is wrong and that we should change it and that there should be a better way to do whatever it is that we're doing but especially to motivate ourselves um, but there is no right or wrong way to motivate yourself there's just what works for you so i am asking you to use your natural tendencies and preferences and trust yourself when it comes to your motivation. So I'm gonna take um, a minute to think about the last couple of projects that you finished. And you know they could be projects that you didn't finish on time, that's fine, projects that you don't think were really super well done, but anything that you actually managed to finish, what really got that work out the door? What was the thing that happened that made sure that you finally submitted it? Was it knowing that someone else was waiting for you to finish and worrying about disappointing another person? Um, was it the fear of missing a deadline and how that might reflect on you as a professional? Or were you more motivated by someone's encouragement? Uh, did you promise yourself a treat afterwards? Or were you just so sick of it and so ready to get it out of your head and onto other things that you just went ahead and finished? There's no right or wrong way, like I said before, but you really need to think about the, the ways in which you manage to finish your work. And then once you have an idea of how you already motivate yourself, go ahead and make a plan to motivate yourself in the future, your motivation plan. So if you're really into rewards, make a list of the rewards that you are capable of giving yourself and then start putting them into your calendar to use them strategically to get through those inevitable dips in motivation. If you need hard external deadlines to get you to work, you can ask a friend who might be able to hold you accountable to your timeline. I even have a client with young children who just announces her goals to them. And of course, as kids do, they ask her about the, her progress every single day and that keeps her accountable. So whatever it is that you choose to do, um, I just wanna remind you to embrace those natural tendencies. Don't go looking for other ways to motivate yourself that, that don't work for you. Go ahead and use what it is that you're already doing and then make a plan, be strategic about it. And finally, remember to celebrate every single win to help reinforce the positive feelings that come with finishing a task or a project. Um, with, in, the, in Kathy Mazak's programs, we do weekly wins, and sometimes the process of thinking back through your week and remembering all the good work you've done can feel really rewarding, and of course then in turn can um, strengthen that motivation. So thank you for listening. If you already know what motivates you, please drop it in the comments because it's always really interesting to hear the different ways that people are motivated to, to get their work done. And if you're not watching this live, make sure to use the hashtag team replay. Thanks so much for watching Level Up Live.